board the Islander. We uh, decided to come to Catalina Island yesterday, or actually this morning. We were gonna try to fish there this morning, but the wind came up out of the northwest, started blowing pretty hard. So we uh, juggled our options and we decided to come out to Catalina. The weather out here is absolutely beautiful. It's like a lake right now, whereas at San Clemente right now, it's blowing about 25 knots. Um, so for our kayaker's sake, we came to Catalina Island. We're gonna give it our best shot here. We're gonna start at this point called Long Point. Traditionally, we have caught yellowtail here. There's a sign of sea bass, um, a little cove just south of Long Point. It's called White Cove. We've had good halibut fishing in there as well. So we're gonna work with this beautiful weather that we've got going for us. And see what we can do here at Catalina Island for the rest of our trip. Look at that, battle bones. <laughs> Well, hello again. This is day two of our Islander mothership trip, and we're at Catalina Island. We are actually fishing both the local islands here off of California, closest to San, to San Diego, and we're greeted by flat, calm weather again. So, really hot. Like I said, beautiful weather. Look how flat it is right here. And uh, we're gonna get after it. I think it's gonna be a little bit different program today, and we're gonna be fishing deeper. We're gonna go fish with Tim Boyer of Pure Water Sports and some of his friends, Brian. And uh, we're gonna go out there and drop the submission fishing jig in some deep water, uh, maybe 200 to 300 feet. And we're also gonna try for a little while some surface iron action and possibly an A-rig uh, and see what we can get. But very different place, very different island and different structure. Should be pretty interesting. Um, probably a little slower, maybe some big fish, but we'll never know. And um, just happy to be out in the water again. Beautiful place, easy launch, and uh, got a full belly, some coffee in me. Let's get after it. Even the bonita are picky here, Tim. All right, here's an update. It's very slow fishing. Uh, I haven't even connected to one thing yet. And I'm sure there's a couple people that are not uh, hooking as well. But we'll see how it goes. Um, working it around, looking for some calico, some barracuda. I'm gonna grab some lunch right now from the Islander. Uh, switched up to a smaller kicker 15 jigs. So we'll see if that works, but tough fishing at Catalina. Yeah, all my, my, my phone's on the kayak. Got a Euro, huh? What do you think, Eric? It looks delicious. Look at that sauce. Mm. He's still there. No, he's still there. He's just running out the boat. Oh, he came up. And then I got a pass. God damn it. <laughs> ah.
Benita, blowing up on bait. It's kind of real. It's kind of like it's happening out here. Not to say that I'm a fan, Benita. But hopefully there's some yellowtail on the kicker 25 or 15. Excuse me. Come on right there. Looks like it's all gonna be. Oh my god, look at the middle over there. <laughs> As you can see, it's freaking biting out here, and there is just tons of anchovy. Some killer action of what it looks like inside of a bonito boil. Um, so cool to watch these fish. They're just everywhere. You can see them over here, over there, everywhere you look around, there's a bonito boil. Not really a yellowtail in it, but it's just fun to watch and be a part of nature. Uh, got more of Benita than we had we want There's definitely a couple yellow tail. I think they're inside so I might go take a look here after maybe one more recording a session of the uh, Benito, but Really really cool to see hope you enjoyed that Uh oh, salty's bit. Is he still on, salty? Thank <laughs> you. 
time. You can see it was a crazy day. Tons and tons and tons of foaming fish, boiling fish, everything in between. There's tons of fish in general. And uh, what better way to go after some boiling fish than with a kicker jig? Uh, we were, I was using the uh, Double Mint 25 light right here for most everything, including that one bite I got from yellow popped off. And then this bunker color right here because there's targeting anchovies that are about this size. And the, the gold gives it an extra little look-alike from the brown backs of the anchovy. Tons of action. What better way to just end our amazing trip on the Islander? We couldn't have asked for better conditions. We couldn't have asked for better fishing. And uh, just tons and tons of action. A little bit slow in the morning here at Catalina. And then it just ramped up and ran off. We're going to go through our full breakdown of how to do your own trip on the Islander so you can be prepared. One thing to note right off the bat is that you're not going to be able to bring any oversized kayaks like a pro angler. Check out Fish Village. Thanks to those guys for taking care of everything we did here. And I can't thank Mike Pons for everything he does enough. So we'll see you guys later. Enjoy the footage again. And thanks for watching. Subscribe and like, and we'll see you around. 50 fish. That's the one you saw? Yeah. Whoa. Hi. What do we have here? We have a Tatsuloin prime steak with a sauce romesco, a chimichurri, a mixed vegetable, and a triage of uh, roasted potatoes. Victory dinner. Victory dinner indeed. Oh, thank you. Wow, let
If you're interested in your very own mothership trip aboard Islander Sport Fishing, check out fishvillage.com where you can learn more about the trips and book right here on their website, especially for the upcoming season in 2023. Check it out. We'll see you on one of those trips. Cheers! Cow's, cow's deal deal. Hey man, nothing but the best. <laughs> no, just can't help themselves. Just can't help themselves. Look at these guys. Acting like there's yellowtail off the bow or something. What's going on here, man? Is it Young and Leonard? Oh, it's Young and Eric. He wins. High card.